Let me show you how we can solve an exponential equation that has two different bases. Here we have 2 to the 4x plus 1, and that's equal to 3 to the x. And yes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, if you take a look at the bases, 2 and 3, unfortunately, we cannot make them the same easily. It's possible though, for example, you can write 3 as 2 to some power. What is it? Well, it's just log base 2, because this and that will cancel. And if you want to get 3, then you just have an input 3. Yeah. But as you can see, the moment you do this, you are using logarithm already. So we might as well just use logarithms right in the beginning. So let's go ahead and take log base 10, because this is the one that we have on the calculator. And if you want to use ln, the natural log, that's also OK. Now, once we have the log on both sides, well, the beauty is that we can put the power to the front here and also do that here. Notice that this right here has two terms, 4x plus 1. So when you put that at the front, make sure you put the parentheses 4x plus 1. And then we have log of 2. And this right here, I just want to emphasize that it's 2 instead of a logarithm. All right, keep that in mind. And then this is equal to x at the front, and we multiply that by log of 3. Usually, you want to have the x or whatever at the front of the number. Right, because this right here is just log of 2 as a number. Mm, if you put like x at the end, then it looks like the x is inside. That's not correct. By the way, this is what we have. Next, you have two choices. One, you can divide the log of 2 on both sides, but you will be done with fractions from here down, so maybe not so good. So let's just go ahead and distribute. So we get 4x. Right, this is a number, x is right here, and then we also have the log of 2, right? And then we add log of 2, and that's equal to, this right here is just x times log of 3. Okay, and then we can see that, let's just move this term to the other side, because they have the x, but in fact, this right here doesn't have the x, so I think it's better if we move this here. So I will put log of 2 right here, and that's equal to x times log of 3 minus, and we have the 4x log of 2. All right, this right here, we can keep this positive and I think it's nicer. Now we have this x here times log of 3 minus 4 times this x here times log of 2. We can factor out the x. So we get x times log of 3 minus 4 log of 2, and that's equal to log of 2 right here. In the end, we can just divide this quantity on both sides. Some people, they, they told me that, yeah, my 4 looks like psi or phi, yeah, the Greek letter, but I will try to write my 4 better anyway though. All we have to do is just divide this on both sides and we'll be done. So ladies and gentlemen, x equals log of 2 on the top, over this, which is log of 3, minus that, which is 4 log of 2. Alright, so this will be a pretty nice expression for that. And of course, with this, you can use a calculator and enter everything there. Make sure you put parentheses around this and that if you want to use a calculator to get approximation. Maybe you guys can leave a comment down below and let us know this is approximately equal to what? That's it. Oh, if you want to see another way to do it, check out my other video.